Okay then, so if you want to learn how to build your own custom brushes, then simple. It's actually really easy. All you need is a wooden axe, a golden axe, or really any other tool other than a wooden axe, and world edit. Now here's what you're, here's what you're gonna do. You are gonna take your blocks, the blocks you want, and you just make whatever structure you want. So, I am gonna make uh, this, I guess, because I can. Select it, and I'm gonna copy it into my clipboard. Right? Pretty simple. And again, go slash slash br clipboard minus a now what that does is that goes slash slash brush and it takes clipboard so it's saying hey i want this thing in my clipboard to be used as a brush and minus a is i don't want any of the air in this brush or in this clipboard to be you know put forward like in the actual brush now you you're gonna want to be holding the item you want as your brush while you're doing this so you do that, and you got it. You just gotta click it, and it's there, just really badly, because, uh, because reasons. Now then, what if you wanna paint? Like, what if you wanna paint things with your own custom brush? Like, have your own custom painting, like I did over there on the island. It's simple. All you gotta do is go slash slash up one. In the sky though, so that nothing bad happens. And I should be showing all of these uh, commands on screen. They should all be in the description too. Now all you gotta do, slash slash br, which is brush, s, which stands for sphere, 60% zero, which is 60% of this sphere is gonna be air, and you'll see why in a bit, and 40% 57 which is 40% is diamond blocks. Diamond blocks is, they're, they're just a placeholder, so you don't have to worry about that being in your thing. And now what you're gonna do is think of what radius do I want? Like how big do I want this circle to be? How big do I want this sphere to be? Sorry about that. Uh, if you want it to be, I'm just gonna go with seven. That's gonna be my radius, so I just put seven after that. Click enter and now that I've done that, I'll take my golden axe, because remember, I'm holding my brush. I have to be holding my brush while doing this, and I'll just right click. I'm going to back up, and I wasn't backing up in time. And you can see, this is our thing. Now you're wondering now, bro, I don't, I don't want this on my, <laughs> I don't want this on my mountain. Simple. All you're going to do is select a certain portion of this, or maybe the whole thing, and replace diamond block and there are there are other ways of doing this I just don't quite know them yet and replace the diamond blocks with whatever you want I'm using terracotta you guys mostly everyone watching this should know how to do that at least I think what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this and I'll just uh I might be able to cut this part out anyways now that we've got that down what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the whole thing so I'd go down here, slash, slash, pause, too. And you'd go right up to it and copy it to your clipboard. So you're going to do the same thing, getting your own custom brush. However, this time, you go to golden axe, slash, slash, br, clipboard. Actually, that's the exact same thing. Minus A. Now that you've done that, you can place it, but it's still just a massive ball. This is still a massive ball, and it's not just replacing blocks. So what you want to do is you want to go slash slash G mask and the block you want it to replace. I want stone. Oops, stone. I want to replace stone. So I click that. Global mask set. I go over here to where there's, you know, stone and click this. And bam, it's done it. Now, you can do it in different ways. 
you don't need it to be like this, but I would suggest it being a 3D object, not just a flat wall. Otherwise, it'll only work on one axis. So, be, be sure to do that. Be sure to do that. I would heavily suggest doing it this way. And, uh, hope you have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I do things like this all the time. Or at least plan to. And, uh, I hope you have a good day. See ya.